So the film story begins with a girl named Hannah. Hannah lives with her dad in desolate, snowy forests. Despite being so far away from the world, she knows everything. Her dad, Eric, has taught her six different languages. No one can defeat her in karate and hand-to-hand -hand combat fighting. Even if she aims with an arrow or a gun, she never misses her target. And Eric has been training her in all this for the past 13 years. Eric knew all this because he was a CIA agent and one day he found out a secret about the company and became a threat to the company. The CIA wanted to kill him, but he saved himself and his daughter and came a long way from the world. In the night when Eric was teaching Hannah about music, Hannah tells her that she wants to hear it with her own ears. I want to go to the outside world on it, Eric replies. You know that the outside world is not safe for you. No, Dad, I don't think so. I think I am ready to go to the outside world. I am ready to face every difficulty. As she says this, Eric opens a pit and brings a device in front of her. He keeps this device in front of her and says, as you press this switch, the CIA will know our location, but press this switch carefully. After pressing this switch, all the ways to get back will be closed for you. At that time, you will need to eliminate the CIA agent Marissa, who is a threat to both of us. While talking to Eric, Hannah presses the switch without fear. The CIA immediately finds out their location, and now the CIA agent Marissa calls a meeting. She tells everyone in the meeting that Eric has been found. Eric was a very good and capable CIA agent. It is very important to catch him because he has company secrets. It is shown that a force is sent to Eric's house to catch Eric. While we see Eric telling Hannah, you have to do as I say. Now we will meet in Berlin and you will also come to Berlin. Saying this, he left, but now the police had surrounded Hannah's house. As two police officers come in, Hannah kills both of them in a minute, but then the rest of the force catches Hannah and brings her to the CIA headquarters. Here, first of all, an officer comes to interrogate her, but she doesn't talk to him and says, I will only talk to Marissa. Hearing this, another girl came into this room. She looked almost like Marisa. She says to Hannah, I am Marisa. Now Hannah asks this agent a lot of questions to confirm whether that agent is Marissa or not. This agent was giving the right answers to all of Hannah's questions because Marissa was answering all her questions through her microphones. As Hannah is confirmed that she is Marissa, she starts crying while hugging her. In this situation, the agents outside feel threatened and they come in with an injection to make Hannah unconscious. As they see Pyom inside, Hannah fights both of them easily and taking gun from them. She kills the agent who was Marissa and then kills the other two agents and breaks the security cameras here while shooting. After which she ran away from here. Marissa, who was sitting in the other chamber, gets shocked. Here in the lab of the CIA, Hannah's blood test was also being done and her DNA is also found to be abnormal. They were watching this report that Hannah comes inside the lab and runs away from here with her medical report. At this time, many agents come to catch her, but she deceives everyone and succeeds in getting out of here through the tunnels. The second opening of the tunnel was in a desert. Meanwhile, a few cars pass over Hannah. She gets very far while hanging with them, and here she meets two siblings. The sister's name is Sophie, and Sophie offers to give her a lift, but Hannah feels better to walk alone. The scene cuts, and we are shown Marissa, who is taking out Eric's file from her locker and burning it. What is her enmity with Eric and Hannah? To discover this, the story shifts to flashback. It is shown that Marissa attacked Eric's car. At this time, Hannah's mother and Hannah were also in Eric's car. Hannah's mother dies due Marissa's attack, and Eric runs away from there with Hannah in the forest. And since then, Marissa was looking for him. On the other side, it is shown that Hannah has reached a nearby village where she sees that many people are washing clothes. She steals some people's clothes and goes to a hotel. Hannah did not have money at that time. She asks the hotel owner to help her and asks for a free room. The hotel owner was impressed to see an Englishman speaking Arabic. He gives her a room to stay. At night, she meets Sophie in this hotel. She invites her to dinner and these people talk a lot here. In the morning, Sophie's family goes back to their home and hiding in their car, Hannah also follows them. While CIA agents catch the owner of the hotel from behind to find Hannah. When they check CCTV footage, they find out that Hannah has run away in Sophie's family's car. After that, CIA agents kill this old man. 
Here it is shown that Eric had also reached the city by the water, who is first seen by two police officers. Before they kill him, Eric kills them and throws them into the water, and Marissa also knows about this. On the other hand, we are seeing Hannah in Sophie's car. She was happy to see her family enjoying. Meanwhile, Sophie's younger brother sees Hannah, but he doesn't tell anyone about Hannah. When they stop at another hotel on the way, Sophie also sees Hannah, and this time she tells Hannah to stay with her instead of escaping. And this time, Hannah also listens to her. Here, Hannah tells Sophie that she is going to Berlin to meet her dad. In this hotel, they meet a boy with Sophie. They become friends and enjoy a lot. But when this boy tries to misbehave with Hannah, Hannah throws him on the ground. Here it is shown that Marissa had reached Hannah's grandmother's house while looking for Hannah. She asks this old lady about Hannah, but when she doesn't give any answer, Marissa shoots her head without mercy. The scene cuts, and Eric is shown going to meet Hannah. On the way, when he notices that many people are following him, he comes to a basement to get rid of them. The people who were following him had also come, and he defeated all of them in minutes before leaving. From the walkie-talkie of the guards, Eric finds out that they were the guards of none else but Marissa. While talking to Marissa, Eric reaches her house and shoots one of her guards, and moves inside her house. But Marissa was smart. She had run away before entering her house. On the other hand, Hannah is shown sitting in the van with Sophie. Here, Sophie's mom finds out that someone is following them. Hannah also finds out about this. Hannah knew that all these people were after her, and she makes a decision to save this family. She asks Sophie not to follow her no matter what happens. Saying this, she runs away from there where Marissa's people follow her, but she disappears in the storage containers. As one of them sees Hannah, Hannah starts beating them without wasting time. She had the power to fight two people at the same time. She was fighting very skillfully, but Sophie comes and sees all this. Sophie gets scared of Hannah and ran back to her car. After killing a lot of Marissa's people, Marissa's another agent follows Hannah. Hannah runs to escape, but the way was closed, and there was a sea in front of her. So, Hannah jumps into it and saves herself from them. To get Hannah's information, these agents capture Sophie's family. To interrogate them, Marissa comes here and asks the younger boy about Hannah. He tells her that Hannah was going to Berlin to meet her dad, and Hannah told him this at the hotel. On the other hand, Hannah is shown sitting on a boat while swimming in the water. She reached the city through this boat where her dad had asked her to meet. The location was a shop in a park where she meets a magician. He knew about Hannah's arrival and gives her a letter and a passport and also gives her an address. The magician says, I knew your mom. She was a good singer and a good friend. He plays her mom's song. Hannah hears the song for the first time. They were enjoying, meanwhile, Marissa and her people came here. The magician sees her and asks Hannah to hide. Reaching the magician's home, the agents start beating him and ask him about Eric and Hannah, but this man refuses to tell anything. At the same time, Marissa gets a call from her agent, whom she sent to catch Hannah, to take out Eric's information. He discovered that Eric has always lied to Hannah that he is Hannah's father, actually. He knows everything about your experiment, which you have stopped years ago. Hannah had heard all this, and the most shocking thing was that Eric had always lied to her that he was her father. When they all left, she runs away from the back door and Sarashi's about her dad, Eric, on net in a net cafe. She finds out that Eric wasn't married, which means everything Marissa and her agent said was true. Eric was not her father, and now she goes to the address given by the magician. It was her grandma's address, and going there, she sees the bullet mark on her grandma's picture, which was there when Marissa killed her grandma. She knew that her grandma was dead. She was in shock that Eric came here. Instead of being happy after meeting Eric, she asks him if he is not her father hearing this. Eric gets confused and says, I raised you, but Hannah says, no, tell me the truth that you are my dad or not. Here, Eric has to tell the truth that he was not Hannah's father. He tells her how he met Hannah. He was a CIA agent, and once he was given a mission to find pregnant women, and her mom was one of them. They wanted to inject a special serum in their DNA so that when they are born, they don't have any fear or mercy. The CIA wanted to make them a strong army and they have more power to fight than a normal person. Eric tells her that he included 20 women in this program. Everything was going normal, but when all the kids were two years old, Marissa shut down the research facility. She ended a lot of people, even she wanted to end you as well, but I saved you 
and took you away. When she attacked the bomb, your mom died. Eric tells her that he knew Marissa wanted to erase her experiments, which is why she would have killed you. I trained you for 13 years, so there will be no danger on you so that you can defend yourself. Whether you believe it or not, I love you. I may not be your biological father, but I love you more than a real father. Hearing all this, Hannah was even more angry. She was learning such a big truth today. Her whole life was a betrayal she was leaving. And when Eric tried to stop her, she fought with him, defeated him, and escaped from there. Meanwhile, Marissa comes here, and seeing the cars, Eric tells Hannah to run away and tries to distract Marissa's people. Here, Marissa's agent surrounds Eric from both sides. Eric fights well with both and defeats them. Before he kills them, Marissa shoots him from behind. It is shown that Hannah went to the same magician's house where Eric asked her to come, but this magician was also dead. Marissa also came looking for her. Hannah had no weapon to fight Marissa. She took out the weapon from the magician's body, with which he was killed. When she was trying to run away, Marissa comes from front with the gun. Marissa tells Hannah that she wants to help her. Hannah says, no, I don't need anyone's help. I don't want to do anything to anyone. You also get out of my way. Before they leave, they attack each other. Marissa gets injured because of an arrow and Hannah gets shot. But as we know, there was an extra power in her DNA despite being shot. She got up and follows Marissa. Marissa was about to save herself from Hannah, but when she tries to run away, Marissa slips and falls there. She had left the gun in her hand, and Hannah picks up the gun and kills Marissa. She had killed the biggest danger in her life, and now she was free. But the sad part was that the one who had prepared her to face these dangers, she had also lost him. Means her dad, Eric, and she was sad for this. Now she will live alone. This story concludes here.